Autodesk Mudbox is a 3D sculpting and painting tool aimed at digital sculptors and paint artists. Essentially, there are two ways to look at interoperability between 3ds Max and Mudbox. One workflow is to export your low-poly model from 3ds Max into Mudbox. You then use Mudbox's sculpting and paint features to add high-resolution detail to the model. Finally, you export the model back to 3ds Max for rendering purposes. This means your final imported model in 3ds Max is a high poly count that will render nicely but may prove difficult to animate. The second workflow involves some of the same steps whereas you export your low resolution mesh from 3ds Max to Mudbox and add detail. However, instead of sending back the geometry, you instead extract map information including color information and the all too important normal map. You then use this normal map on your low-res 3ds Max model to give the illusion of detail. This is especially important if you need to keep a low poly count to easily animate your models or use them in a real-time engine. In this video, we'll take a look at the second workflow. The first rule of thumb when you create a low poly model to export to Mudbox is that the geometry should be properly laid out. On the one hand, you should ensure that the model is made out of quads or four-sided polygons. If your model has three or n-sided polygons, you should fix them first before exporting your model. Keep in mind that this is not restrictive. Mudbox would still load geometry that is not quad-based, but the results would not be as clean then. The second rule of thumb is that the polyflow is reasonably equal in size. Here the polygons around the neck base seem to be a bit stretched. Adding a loop in this location will fix the problem. Once the modeling process is done, it is time for the last rule, UV mapping. Having mapping coordinates on the model is critical for the success of interoperability between Mudbox and 3ds Max. In this case, you will use the Unwrap UVW modifier. In Edge mode, use the point-to-point -point seam feature to define how the model will unwrap. Once this is done, select all faces and apply the PELT method. Under PELT options, select the stretcher and set it so that it is properly aligned and slightly scaled up. Start the PELT process and then stop it when the UVs are properly panned out. Finally, commit the changes and then scale and move the UVs so they're inside the UV box. At this point, the model is ready for export. If you wish, you can even bake the UV coordinates to the model by converting it to an editable poly object. Exporting to Modbox is a relatively easy process. Using the export tool, choose the OBJ format from the type list and give your file a name. As you click on Save, a dialog appears. From the list of presets, choose Mudbox. This will select the parameters that work best for exporting to Mudbox. Since the idea is to use Mudbox to generate maps, you do not need to export any materials or libraries outside of 3ds Max. Click on Export, and then on the Done button. You are now ready to start sculpting in Mudbox.